Hi, this is Gary. In this video, I'm going to cover conceptually how a bull spread works. Now, the objective in a bull spread is to try to make money when the uh, market goes up. And conceptually, what we're doing is we are buying a call option at uh, a low price, or the, the lower the two prices, and we are going to sell short a uh, call option at a higher price, or at a high price. So that's conceptually what we're trying to do. Now I have an example here I'm going to take from uh, Yahoo Stock. I have the date on there. Uh, the Yahoo Stock price was at uh, 23.39 when this went into effect. Um, for this example, we are going to use uh, call options expiring on uh, May 17th of 2013. Now what we're going to do is uh, we are going to uh, try to do a bull spread here so we are going to uh, buy uh, the uh, 20 call the, the call at the uh, 20 strike price for uh, 355 and that's the ask what we pay and we are going to sell at the bid another call option with the uh, same expiration date at uh, and the strike price of uh, 25 so uh, we are going to receive 33 for the sell and we are going to pay 355 for the call. Now uh, moving on to a chart of how this works, uh, remember here we are buying uh, and we're buying one call and uh, call options for 100 shares so when it says 355 that's going to cost $355 and then we are selling a call option for uh, 33 cents or 33 times 100 which would be uh, 33 dollars now if you take the 355 and you subtract the 33 cents that we're receiving from uh, the uh, sell of the call we have a net cash outlay of 322 dollars now this does not assume uh, transactions cost as far as uh, brokerage fees, uh, so we, our net cash outlay might actually be even more. Now conceptually here, uh, we have the 355 call, or the 20 call that we own, and we have the uh, 25 call that we are short. So uh, the maximum we can lose is nothing because uh, we have that call covered and the maximum we can gain is 500 that's the difference between 25 and uh, 20 in this example and uh, our cash we receive at expiration looks something like this we receive nothing until the uh, stock price closes at 20 and if it closes anywhere between 20 to 25 we receive uh, $500 and uh, 500 is the max we can receive. Now if you remember uh, we have a $322 cash outlay and I've got that highlighted in green there so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to subtract 322 uh, from our cash received at expiration graph to get our uh, profit loss graph and that ends up looking something like this we subtract uh, 322 from the uh, cash received at expiration and uh, our net profit loss looks like this and essentially uh, the max we can uh, make in this case is uh, 178 and that's if the uh, stock price closes at 25 and the 178 is our uh, the 500 we receive from the difference between the price of the two calls and uh, minus our uh, 322 uh, cash outlay and of course uh, this does not include uh, brokerage cost uh, which would actually make our profit smaller and uh, the maximum amount we can lose is 322 and that's our cash outlay um, plus uh, we don't factor in the brokerage cost the good thing is if we did lose uh, 322 plus the brokerage fees is the maximum we can lose is we won't have any more uh, cash outlays there and uh, that essentially wraps up how a bull spread works thank you for watching